commercial break, Jim's two sons, Daniel and Dylan, crept out here and gave their dad a little hug. That was uh, very nice to see. They're pulling for you. As a matter of fact, they're right back there now waiting for you to uh, bring home a million dollars, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, Daniel, Dylan, what would, uh, what would you like to say to your dad? You're doing awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dad. <laughs> and your wife, Marge, too. Hi, Marge, how are you Hi. doing? Hi, we're very proud like of him. And what would you like to say to him? That I'm very proud of him, and I love him very much. Oh, good. Well, we're all going crazy out here. Sarah was in tears a few minutes ago. I'm getting quite nervous. You're the only one that's taking it all very nonchalantly. The button-down guy from Dartmouth. <laughs> but inside, you must be churning, huh? Well, it's, it's a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make it exciting! <laughs> But, Jim, well, that's the way you are. You're just very knowledgeable. You expect to have the answer. I like that confidence. Okay? okay. All right. The Mars Society, the people up on Mars, everybody's pulling for you. Yes. <laughs> Every last one of them. Here's where you are. You, you still have all your lifelines. Fabulous. 125,000. Could lose 93,000 if he doesn't get it right. But he's going for 250,000. Three away from the million. Let's play. Here it is for $250,000. Which of these European cities was formerly called Christiania? Vienna, Oslo, Amsterdam, Brussels. I was a European history major, but that was a long time ago. Come on, Jim, think. And I don't remember a Christiania. I'd like to call my friend Steve. What does he do? He's a colleague of mine at Dartmouth. Good enough. All right. AT&T, we need Steve from Dartmouth. Hello, Steve. Yes. Regis Philbin calling from New York. How are you? Hi, Regis. I'm a little nervous. How are you? Yeah, well, we're all a little nervous. You can't believe what's going on down here. I'm with Jim. He's the only one who's not nervous. <laughs> and he's going for a quarter million dollars right now, but he's run upon a question here that is uh, stymieing him. Uh -huh. So he's going to read you the question, the four possible answers. One of them's the right answer, okay? Okay. All right, good luck. And good luck to you, Jim. And you've got 30 seconds, and they start now. Steve. Could you look up the word Christiania, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-I-A, -I -I -A, in the encyclopedia? You got 17 seconds. What we're looking for is a European city whose former name was Christiania. Oh, that again? C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-I-A. -I -I -A. Maybe he knows one of the four cities, no? Usually you give the the four answers. Yes. Didn't need, you don't think you needed them? Well, I was hoping the encyclopedia would say it. Oh. So I would like to use my 50-50 light bulb. Why don't we do that? Computer, let's narrow it down by two, please. From, from history classes was that a long time ago, Sweden controlled basically all of Scandinavia. And they had at least one king named Christian. So it wouldn't surprise me to learn that that Oslo was once called Christiania. So I, I think 
I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm more than 50%. So I'd like my answer to be B, also. Okay, I'll repeat again. If you miss, you lose 93,000. If you get it, 250,000, and you still have a lifeline, then we, we go ahead. Now, is that going to be your final answer? say that B Oslo is my final answer. Yes it is. $250,000 terrific. And still the lifeline with the audience. And just a reminder now it's 218,000 you would lose. But we're looking at a question that represents $500,000, a half million, Jim, and you're two away from the big million dollar payoff. And the little boys back there are going crazy, rubbing their hands. Here we go for $500,000. Take a look. Pierre Amitiar initially started the auction website, eBay, to help his wife collect what? Barbie dolls, porcelain animals, Pez dispensers, postage things. Um, this is a famous story in, in the, the internet computer world um, where there are a lot of people trying to think of ideas for businesses to start that will become as big a deal as eBay. And so I've heard the story about how his wife collected Pez dispensers. So my answer is C, Pez dispensers. Pretty sure, huh? I'm pretty sure. Final answer? That's my final answer. Just what I have. When we come back, we go for one million dollars. 